So right now I'm going to be testing the difference between the high impacts or the low impacts of these three punch downs from your Fluke to your Klein and your Milwaukee. Um, I won't be using the extended arm um, for this because we're doing ice cubes. So just the short tips that I have on there is fine. Uh, the Klein, what I like is it always has that extended arm, um, but you don't always need it. Uh, like right now, like I said, if we're just doing like regular jacks, then all you need is the shorter tip, which I have all right now. And for video consumption of time, I've already hooked up these two ice cubes. Um, I didn't have another cube, so I'll just take one off and use it for that other Cat6 cable. And let's see what happens. I will use the Fluke first. I have it on high impact. And I got this tip on it. So, how am I going to put the video? Let's see. Let's see if this works here. Okay. So, again, I already have it done. Now I'm just going to be punching down and see the differences on the high impact. Again, the tip is up because that's the up part that you want to take off. You don't want to take off the bottom. Again, I like to angle it just a little up so it can really get in there and cut that cable out. There we go. So in all, one swoop, one punch, they all came off and it looks really good. And that's on high impact. And you saw with the force, I'll be using the same force on all three. So there's the fluke, feels great in my hand. I love this grip. And as you can see, this Everlast blade has been here for years. It has never been switched out compared to my Milwaukee one that it has a brand new blade, but we will see the difference. So that one's done. I'm gonna use the Klein next. And let's see how this goes. Again, it's on high impact. I'm not sure if you could see that in the video. I make sure it's on high using still the same 110 small tip uh, Everlast blade. And we'll see how this one goes too. Again, using an angle. Okay, um, something that I've noticed already, uh, this is smaller, um, it has grip all around, but I don't know, I just feel like I'm manhandling it too much. I'm using the same pressure as I did with the Fluke, but the Fluke's grip just feels amazing in your hand compared to this one, it was just, just a little awkward, but it still gets the job done. Well, let's see, again, came off. So only one punch, didn't need to do multiple punches as I see people do in the field. So that one's done. For the purpose of, I only have two cubes. I will take this one off and use this. I didn't show you how I did it last time, but I always like to prepare my cables like this, my wires. I spin them a little bit to get that little opening with your tip on the left side and your ring on the right side. Cause as you can see, on here, your color code, we're using class B. The tip is on the left and the ring is on the right. So I like to use the green first to get the cable right in the center. And as you can see, it's easier to push them in here with that little loop that I make. Just with a little slight turn. Some people like to use their tweaker and fully uh, take these apart, but it's really not necessary in my opinion. So there we go. And then as you, as in the other ones, I twist these up so it's just less mess and they're not flying all over the place. Okay, so now let's use the Milwaukee. Um, that the bottom part's a little thicker. Um, still feels okay in your hand. Not as great as the, the Fluke. Um, I, used to, I would think that it would slip because there's not much grip, but we are okay. I've been using it on patch panels and jacks and it has not slipped yet. So again, I have it on the high impact. 
there is enough light, don't need the LED. Usually you just need this for the, or the two LEDs for the patch panels because it's usually dark in there. So let's see how this one comes out. And again, this is a newer blade, so I know for a fact that it'll punch just once. Boom. So they both fell out, didn't need to do a little wiggle room with it. Uh, something I noticed with this Milwaukee is that the impact feels a little harder. So I really believe that, or I felt, that this has more of an impact. I don't know if it's because it's new, but the uh, Fluke and the Klein have the exact feel of the impact. This one just felt a little stronger. Um, so there you have it. If you want to show, if you want me to show you how exactly I do the color code or need to show you the color code process or how to tone out or just a how to info about cat six, cat five, coax, whatever it is, just leave comments and I will do my best to help you guys out. Thanks for watching.